Now we come to a very controversial issue. But before talking about uh, this issue in the Muslim world or among Muslims, I need you to take a look at what happens here, for example, in Louisiana, right? So here in Louisiana, domestic violence fatalities. Just take a look. Take a look at the statistics. And this one. Okay. <laughs> okay, never mind this. Okay, so violence against women, it's a major public health problem. It's a violation of women's human rights. This is what Muslims and Islam believe. According to World Health Organization, 35% of women worldwide have experienced physical and or sexual intimate partners violence or non-partner sexual violence in their lifetime. Globally, 38% of murders of women are committed by a male intimate partner. What about Islam and Islam's stand on domestic violence? Islam condemns all forms of emotional and physical domestic abuse. Some traditional sections of the Muslim community believe spousal abuse is legitimate under certain conditions. If the wife becomes disobedient, so I have the right to beat her up. This is what they believe. And they have based this interpretation, they have based this judgment on a misinterpretation of this Quranic ayah, which reads, as for those whom you fear ill conduct, first advise them, then forsake their bad. And finally, and the superficial interpretation of the word is to beat them up. But there are so many other authentic and valid interpretations of the word idribuhunna, which include to shun them, to turn away from them, and to separate from them, but not to beat them up. Prophet Muhammad, he said, act kindly towards women. And the Prophet has never struck any woman or child. Never. The Quran says, and among his signs, among God's signs in this universe, and among his signs is this, that he created for you mates from among yourselves, that he may dwell in tranquility with them, and he has put love and mercy between your hearts. Verily in that are signs for those who reflect. And for sure, beating is not any part of a marriage partnership. And you can ask Fatma, she's here, right here, you can ask her how many times a day I beat her. <laughs> you can ask her. <laughs> Prophet Muhammad said, the best of you is the best to his family, and I am the best among you to my family, because he is our role model. He is the one to be emulated, he is the one to be copied. And he also said, the most perfect believers are the best in conduct, and the best of you are those who are best to their wives. How come the Prophet of Islam says that, and the Quran allows Muslims to beat up or to be their wives? This is nonsense. In any society or individual, uh, if any society or individual oppresses women or discriminates against them, it's against Islam, not because of it. So if you find any Muslim who does that, any organization who does that, this is up to them. This is against them, and this is against Islam. This is not what Islam dictates. <laughs>